Hi there. Um, today we'll connect the routers using SSH. But before we start, I just want to explain what SSH is. It's uh, a secure shell connection, which means that through CLI you can uh, access the console of the router. It works on port uh, TCP 22. And with Telnet, the problem was that our data was flowing in the plain text. Hence, we need to secure that information. And um, with SSH, basically, you can encrypt the floating of data. So it comes in two versions, uh, version one and version two. Version one actually uses an algorithm which is called DES, which is data encryption. And uh, version two uses uh, algorithm which is AES, advanced encryption standard. The difference is that this can be, version one can be encrypted within hours and uh, version two takes some time, some, some years to decrypt. So obviously version two is more secure. Um, version one or version 155 are same and version two or version 1.99 are actually same. And uh, how do you connect uh, in SSH? You can, you can see that the SSH can be connected using three ways. Basically one way is that you define a domain name and host name and then you connect after creating the, the keys. And there is, let's say you don't have a domain name and host name, how do we connect? And the third way is that we connect SSH using HTTPS. This doesn't mean that we are connecting using web portal. Uh, it's just a way to enable, uh, it, it's, uh, it, it's just a way to enable SSH uh, and make it secure. So let's do that. This is my configuration. This is my router one. This is my router two. This one is 10.1.100, this is 10.1.1.200 and uh, they're connected through a switch. So let's see the configuration. So this is my router one. Let's configure it. My mm, configure terminal. Let's configure your username first. So let's pick um, a user, um, let's say user 02 and give it a password. We want it in cryptic format. So I say one, two, three, and then um, we configure line VTY, how many connections you want. Let's say I want five of them. And then uh, you say login local. Basically the users which are actually configured on this machine, uh, for those users, uh, the access, the password will be asked. Um, now, um, once this is done, let's enable the the RSA keys, which is the S SSH keys. So the command to do that is crypto. Uh, sorry, before before going there, I'll just also want to inform that using this command command uh, transport input, and if you do a help, you would see that you can actually enable by all means that uh, you can enable SSH and Telnet both or if you want only SSH then you say SSH if you just want Telnet you can just say Telnet there are other other protocols also but for now this session we'll be talking about uh, SSH so in this particular session I'm just enabling uh, transport input SSH which means Telnet won't be accepted Let's come out and let's configure the SSH. It's the command is crypto and then um, keys. And then um, if in case you miss the command, you can just always do a, a question mark, which is help. And then, um, sorry, crypto key generate RSA. So in my case, the domain name is already configured, which is ccna.com. But um, in, if it is not configured, I'll show you in, in a while how to configure that. So it's asking the bit values, basically how many bits are uh, using what bits you want to encrypt the, the algorithm. So in this particular case, I'll take the default values, which is 512. And in a minute, you will see that it will tell you what version it is. It is uh, it is starting. So over here, it can you can see that it is saying version one is enabled, and it clearly says version 1.5. Now it is enabled. So 
I'll give you the command to configure a domain name. So you say IP domain name and then I said ccna.com. So that was a command I used to configure a domain name because if it is not configured, the prerequisite says that you have to configure it. If it is not configured, it will drop you an error. So let's come back to router two. And uh, over here, let's try to connect the the router one. So we'll say SSH uh, one and the user is user O2 and it's sitting on 100 and it's asking me a password one two three and i'm in but um if you look here um, i'll just show you <clears throat> on router 2 you will have to also enable ssh and uh, the command to do so is the same which is um, crypto key generate RSA and you will also need to configure a domain name over here yep let's wait for this to connect okay thank you it's signed out and it's connected sometimes it just doesn't let me in um, yeah so on 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 router one you can also check uh, you can say show ip ssh brief sorry not brief and then you would say that this one is enabled with this version okay and yeah that's all for this one um, in a while, I'll tell you the other two ways.